Hey guys, how's it going? Kaprain here. One of the craziest cards of Ongoro has been the Glimmer Root. Man, has this card had some crazy moments. Early on, I kept seeing, you know, very much net deck stuff. It's kind of interesting that in Constructed, the Ongoro expansion led to more diversity as time went by. Early on, it was actually just a number of decks, kind of what you'd expect from a new expansion, but still not very many. And a lot of people just went immediately to net decking, and actually the card was very successful. Priest was played a decent amount in different varieties at the start of the expansion, and it probably was like a couple of weeks until I actually saw the card miss. But these days, with the higher deck variety and uh, the card seeing a lot of play in other game modes, it has some misses and it has some spectacular hits, and I've kind of made a few collections of these, so I wanted you guys to check that out. You guys maybe gain a bit more appreciation for the card. It's certainly one of the most powerful priest cards out there, but you know, it doesn't really have that combo synergy that's generally fairly core to constructed play. So it's not seen all that often, but the card really is on a very high power level. And more than anything else, it really, um, really pushes people who actually know the game to use the card. So check out the clips, hope you enjoy them, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. There's a few weird cards. I'll have to see if I get lucky and chose one of them. Whoa! Someone got fucked. Um. You wish. I think playing a deck this way is fine. What's my other deck? Seventy percent win rate. My main account is at like rank seven. Deck deck is good. What warrior wouldn't run execute? I don't like um, I don't like the, the taunt warrior decks that have all that removal because it messes with your ability to actually get the quest done, as you obviously saw in that mirror game. I mean that shit was an embarrassment. <laughs> The guy had two taunts when I completed the quest. You need removal. If I play removal, it's just like typical control warrior. I like quest warrior. Oh, is DDoS priest not fixed yet? Of course it's not. Is someone injured? Um, if you cycle this card off of itself constantly, it skips your opponent's turn because the discover mechanic takes longer time for your opponent than it does for yourself. It's pretty stupid. Nice. Okay, let's play this guy. What's your quest up to for? Yeah, let's play that guy. Start running. My opponent hasn't had a chance to use a death, so he's gonna use a death here. Oh. Sure that works. I should have traded the 1-1, one, because one. now he can use another Dragonfire Potion. Yeah, I should have traded there. That's a mistake. I think my version of the deck is pretty good. It's a little bit worse against aggro. It's better against control. Um, obviously, you don't want to play this list. You want to play the Sleep of the Fishies list, because almost everyone is playing aggro. Seems pretty strange. I guess he doesn't have another Dragonfire, and he has another Shadow of Pain. Alright dude, you've seen like half the deck now. 
And you saw what wasn't in my deck. Like, you, you can't fuck this up, can you? Are you serious? What? Two in the same game? This guy must be on drugs, dude. Holy shit. How do you do that? Seriously. Two in the same game. Um, let's play that. It does more damage because I got the, the ghouls. Maybe he didn't want my shitty card. What card is shitty in my entire deck? There are no shitty cards. They're all taunts and board clears. That's literally the whole deck. Tar Lord. Tar Lord's okay. I like Tar Lord. Maybe it was the quest. Quickly. You might as well take it. He's playing a uh, he's playing a spell deck. The quest would be a decent card. Be this. Look at that, three HP if he had the quest, right? You have been. Uh, sweet ciders. It's kind of like apple juice, but it's got like a bit of a different aroma. Those are pretty good. Yeah. So, I like those things. I'm not crazy for them. But they're not bad. I think alcohol is very overrated. I think it's one of those things that's like, Oh, damn, I'm too young to drink this. Well, I'll show my parents, and then... The other kids are like, oh man, this guy's so cool. And then, you know, they grow up and get addicted to alcohol. And then it's not really very cool anymore. And there's a social side of that which kind of encourages some of that behavior. Right? Who knows? That's interesting. It's pretty hard to pick that unless it's literally this card. That's a miss. Reporting for duty. All right. So many wonderful <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Yeah, basically, if if you want to be cool, you have to know what's cool and what age group. It's very important. So, from from my understanding, and again, my understanding might be awful. So keep that in mind. From my understanding, uh, if you are between the ages of like 7 and 10, having like really cool toys or being good at like the sport that everyone's playing around your age group, that's really cool. If you're between the ages of like 10, maybe 11, like 13, just like having a girlfriend that's clearly not actually a girlfriend by any definition for anyone else that's really cool being between like 13 and like 18 maybe 17 doing things that are illegal is really cool even though they're not fun whatsoever well played one second i got to i got to play this turn now. All right. Oh, one thing I forgot. When you cross over into the next group, it's generally really not cool. Okay? So once you hit 19, doing illegal things, immediately not cool. Not cool at all. All right? So you got to be really careful of that one. Like, showing off your Pokemon cards when you're in, like, age group 13. Nope. Nope, keep them at home. Pokemon cards are cool, but according to everyone else, not cool. Not cool at 13, alright? So 
So you got to be really careful with this stuff. It's not it's not clear cut and dry here. Uh, just play one. These things are so clunky. If it kills that, fine. If it doesn't, that's good. All right. Um, okay. So once you're once you're in like the 19 to like early 20s group, being like sociable and smart is like generally pretty cool because that's like you know the university crew and then being like north of like 25 having like stability in your life and being a reasonable person and having a decent job that's really cool and after that i'm not sure I haven't experienced that part but uh i'll let you guys know i'm thinking maybe i'll wait for that because at some point it might actually activate charge well, that's pretty nice if it did so what works in the Justice is mine. Drag no stupid. At fifty, having an erection is cool. Damn. Sounds fun. Spain. I've definitely missed out on a lot of the cool steps in my life, but um, you know, I've I've been paying attention throughout, so I know what the deal is. At what point is playing Hearthstone cool? I'm not sure if if like the culture with students has changed, um, but if it hasn't. Computer games are like kind of like small group cool. Like it's cool if you have other friends that play Hearthstone. Um, otherwise, it's probably something that wouldn't be the highlight of your self as a person. Like, I don't think you want to be known as a Hearthstone player. Like you can be, you know, the funny guy at the office that plays Hearthstone. Seems good, right? Um, all right, let's, let's play a couple of things here. We are the sword in shadow. I got greedy. Welcome to the exam. Sounds lame. Gaming had become so mainstream, you have to be a really shit gamer to fall off. Um, like, I had a lot of, I have a lot of friends who were, like, gamers, and I was really cool because I was, like, you know, one of the best ones at playing the same games they were trying to play. Gimme, give gimme! Give what?! That is so fucked up, dude. I better have a fucking Cthulhu in my deck, alright? Yeah, fuck your chicken, alright? How about that? Oh, dude, that'd be awesome. Oh. Alright. Silvermoon shall not fall. Hearthstone's extremely popular at your college. If you hit legend, you're considered a god. What the fuck? I don't see how that would have any godly consideration. What works in the name? Oh boy. So if that misses, I'll, I'll be alive. Well, I 
I get this one. What? What? That's impossible! These decks don't have spells in them. Dude, I got scammed! That's actually impossible. What the fuck? That literally was cheating. There's there's no spells in these decks. And he picked a spell with Curious Glimmer Root. So it had no chance of being that card. Yet it was that card. And it killed me. I actually got scammed. Hearthstone scammed me. I want my money back. Alright, all those thousands of packs. Refund. Fucking refund. Ah, oh, damn. I really thought it was Invented Weapon. Oh, well. That was really stupid. Because if it was Invented Weapon, I can't use it. So who gives a shit? I had to gamble on another one. I had to. <laughs> it was really dumb.